This past week saw the release of stunning pictures of the 9-11 World Trade Center attacks taken by a New York City police helicopter pilot. And that's tonight's Sunday cover, a talk with a photography enthusiast who was one of the first officers on the scene. I've been interested in photography all my life. I carried a camera on every flight. Greg Semendinger spent 35 years with the NYPD, 14 as a helicopter pilot. On the morning of September 11, 2001, he was stationed at a Brooklyn airfield. We got a call that a private plane had hit the World Trade Center. Jumped in the helicopter, we got up there, we were up there in a couple of minutes. His partner, Jim Saccone, was piloting their aircraft. Early reports were a Cessna might be to blame. It looked like it was hit by a lot bigger aircraft than a private plane. At the time, we still thought it was only an accident. Second explosion in number two World Trade Center on the upper floors. The second plane crash established it was no accident. We knew then that it was a terrorist attack. Smoke engulfed the Twin Towers. Our primary job was to search the roof to see that if anybody made it to the roof. Whether they broke down the door, whether they pried it open, or however it happened, I was just hoping that somebody made it up there. In less than an hour after it was attacked, the South Tower would fall. The PD thinks the South Tower might have just collapsed. We try to get the message across that the writing is on the wall. The North Tower is probably going to come down. Everybody should get out. 30 minutes later, it also collapsed. I could see the whole building going down into the mushroom cloud that was surrounding it. And then I could see the clouds spreading out through the streets in Lower Manhattan. Second explosion, uh, the second tower appears to be down. For the people that were trapped up there, it's really a shame. They had no place to go. Greg Semendinger retired from the New York City Police Department in 2002. He has 240 digital pictures of 9-11.